Welcome back after a long break and we have power again. Welcome back to We Died So What, episode 40, season 2, session 18. I think I read that right. Yes. Last time you returned to the Elven Kingdom where Tatsuya endured excruciating pain, getting his curse removed, while everyone else went shopping in the modern day New York type style of the city. Vehicles, computers, cell phones, everything from your old world of Earth seemed to be here in the city, but not really anywhere else throughout the world. You all seemed to have fun and not a care in the world while Tatsuya was screaming for his life. Today, now that the group is back together, what sort of fortune will the Elven Kingdom bring to the party? And now, the party. Fuck! <sighs> was that within the first 30 seconds? Yes. Oh. Alright, you can only say we that if, if you're live on camera from now on. No! I was expecting Damn. you to say it again. Fuck. Hitting her where it hurts. Good God, Gil. <laughs> yep. So you went shopping, you found out, uh, oh yeah, uh, that was the last time you saw Mitch after he was thinking about uh, hijacking a vehicle because he couldn't afford one. And he was never seen again. He didn't die, he just wasn't seen again. Did Mitch get arrested? Vehicle. Uh, I'll say that, uh... You're, as you're passing, uh, looking for him, you see on the TV, local authorities have found the, the missing uh, vehicles that have seemed to have been remotely removed from the car lots. A uh, person in question that seems to be uh, a naked gray was apprehended at 3rd and Main. Would you say the cars were abducted? Oh... Uh. Yes. Yes, they were. I should stick to cows, I guess. <laughs> and thus, our party is ever smaller. Uh, he put up a slight resistance, but over the elven uh, res uh, police, he was put down quite quickly. Oh my god, they killed him? No, not, no, the, the, it was not put down, but it was taken care of. Sorry, I've used the wrong oh. word. That doesn't sound any better! They took him to the farm. That sounds like a dead! <laughs> it's a funny farm. Her life is beautiful all the time. Went to the alien insane asylum. I don't know if that's worse or better, but alright, I'll accept this. So you see uh, Mitch in handcuffs, and uh, they're just pulling guns out of... Uh, they pull some kind of laser gun out of Mitch's pocket, even though he's not wearing pants. Yeah. You're on your own, buddy. And then you see him slammed against the car. That's and you're not full. And you're not talking back. Am I supposed to be? I don't know. You're that's no longer your character. Okay. Akana's gonna walk away from the scene. No, you're watching this on a TV. Wait, why is Akane there? Was I shopping? Yeah. Yeah, I said you walked past and you saw these on the TV. I'm walking from the TV. Not my problem. Didn't see it. Oh my God. Can you believe there was a gray here? Oh, this is such a gray situation. He was he was such a good friend, you all. I'm offended. Uh, a character in a gray uh, uh, trench coat um, and a nice looking hat says, well, I hope they don't get the goods that I just traded him and walks away. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna go find Tatsuya now. No, you're all together now. 
Oh, okay, never mind. Tatsu uh, looks a little uh, pale, but he does no longer has the curse mark. Didn't any of you watch last episode? I did post it, I think. It was a long time, man. That was a long time ago. Listen, just because you haven't had the last seven sessions doesn't mean it was a long time ago. Everybody else, all the other campaigns, was just three episodes. Can't help that you're a weekly campaign. Anyways, so Tatsuya, what did we learn about touching strange weapons with our bare hands? Is that how I got this curse? It's been so long. It feels like months and months ago. We now take you to our co-anchor, Kyle, down the street. Kyle, TV's zap off. What the fuck? I really don't remember how I got the curse in the first place. Did you remember touch, is like, we a were... strange dagger? No, he got like... stabbed by a dagger. Uh, did he get stabbed? He got hit yeah. by one dagger, and then he got hit with the other dagger. One dagger did ice damage, one did fire damage. He was able to yeah. get rid of the fire damage, but I not the ice. think that was from Decton, actually. Oh no, it was lightning. And every time somebody clapped, it would trigger it. And the first... What did we learn about being stabbed? When you get clapped, you don't go into t towns that are having a festival. And everybody started clapping, and then Tatsu is just rolling there in pain as his HP is clean closer to zero. And as Tatsuya laid there bleeding on the ground, everybody stood up and clapped. <laughs> and he just got further and further from God's light. Oh no, closer and closer to God's light. So anyways, um, since you've just gone through some version of laser, laser surgery removal, whatever the fuck, what do you want to do now that you're free of a curse? I want to look at a map. You're in the currently in the city of Ultima. The ultimate powers or the ultimate technology in the entire world. Or so they say. Filled with majority of all race or majority of elves, but mostly all races. That they seem fit and every all adventurers here are iron or higher. But a lot of the adventurers here seem to be higher than iron. All right. Tatsu is going to lay out the map on a table as Akane and Kos gather around. Uh, Wait, where are you at? I thought we were There's at the. There's a table in the middle of the street. Wait, I thought we were at the elf. I thought Tatsuya was getting cured by the elf. That's already done. Okay, where are we? Are you we were his place or no? You went shopping. You, you met up with everybody shopping. Okay, well, I wish I knew that. I, I said that you at the beginning. You want to go to the? You want to go to a bar, Tatsuya? You need a drink. Hmm. I'll pass today and remember he gave you that uh potion or uh stuff in case it ever happened again where you can remove one curse yourself uh let me check if i have that yeah i do okay there, there it looks like he hasn't eaten in days because of how malnutri- Alright, we're going to a tavern. No arguments. Uh, the closest tavern to you is the Adventurer's Hall. The one that, uh, doesn't need gold rank or higher to enter. Or, sorry, platinum rank or higher. <sighs> Where's the nearest one we can enter? I don't have a map of the city, so I'll just say short- you're walking shortly and then you find it. While we're walking, Tatsu would remark, where's uh, Herman and Mitch? 
They're in better places now. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you walk past the um the TV and you see Mitch on the screen. Uh, he was such a good friend to you all. I I'm hurt. I should have Herman just on a on a roof somewhere, and it's like we demand answers. And then, as uh, Mitch is about to talk, there's just a bullet hole in his head. Oh my God! You're gonna kill him. <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong. No. This isn't where I, I'm, I'm, to not, I'm, I'm this not killing all. somebody's old character. I'm not gonna do that. Look, Tatsuya. They were our friends. They fucked around. They found out. We can't save them. I mean, that explains you Mitch. You want to go up against but... the other military, Tatsuya? No, I just want to know what happened to Herman. Fuck, oh, dude, I don't know. The bee's uh... lost. His, uh... Since he left the campaign, other things came up. His work schedule changed. But, uh... He gave me no indication what he wanted his character to do. Uh, he's a capable man. We can find another adventuring party to join. Maybe we'll run into him again one day. Someday. Oh, God, that... Oh. You just gave me an awful idea. As an enemy. You're going into the tavern? I'm getting soup. Do I have tavern music? Actually, on our way there, can we stop by a place that sells maps? Yes. Okay, let's pick up a map and let's go to the tavern. Ooh, good lord. Yes. Pardon me. We're so great at this. Yeah, we're really good at talking. Actually don't have thing anymore. Guys, haven't you been in other campaigns? All right. We're missing oh. a little big portion of our party right now. I'm not. I'm not here. Yeah, we got to meet. We have new people, people to introduce, and we're kind of struggling until then. There's not many people to do conversations or talk with right now. We're doing also, our best. Also, our chicken is upside down now for some reason. What? Who did that? I don't know. Here. Dancing. Uh, so. When we get a, to a table at the tavern and we put our orders in, Tatsuya is going to roll the map out across the table. All right. So we're down here in Ultima. We first encounter the Dark Lord taking territory over in Slizia. Yeah. Back then, he had all this under his command. And then we moved up north to Edge and fled to the west. Meanwhile, he took control of all this, including our hometown, Midpoint. We know he was expanding out west because we kept running into the Dark Lord's armies even as far as Selby. We could always go south. Yeah. But we'll still just be running, won't we? You think we're strong enough to deal with it? No, 
or not. So what other options do we have then? We need allies. One band of adventurers isn't going to be enough to stand against the Dark Lord's army, no matter how many generals we kill, even if we challenge the Dark Lord himself. Especially if there's only, since there's only three of us now. Sorry, Cost, you're really quiet. God dang. Uh, Move. She said, uh, especially since there's only three of us now. Nate, yeah. why are you so Just move the mic a little closer. <laughs> you moved it closer and then pushed it away. <laughs> What's your output volume on Discord? Sorry, I was chewing for a second. I'm just going to boost it. Output to volume 200. is maxed. 200%. All right. Uh, hold on. Brain is doing nothing. Testing. Oh God. Oh, that's much better. Thank it's you. A little better. He's a he's, he's here. I, <laughs> I have you to have. It turns out my input volume was at sixty-four percent. There we go. That'll do it. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. So yeah. Yeah, she said uh, it's going to be practically impossible, especially since there's uh, only three <sighs> of us now. Kosk is right. First, we need to shore up our own party's weaknesses. Let's do some recruiting, shall we? What would you think our weaknesses are? Just out of Let's curiosity, see. look me... Look me dead in the eyes and tell me what our weaknesses are, Tatsuya. We don't have a whole lot of people who can take a punch. I people mean, who can, someone who can handle melee combat would be good. I mean, you're pretty good at getting punched. Yes, but I can't be everywhere at once. You see a couple of people, uh, Tatsuya, talking and pointing at you. They're probably making fun of you. Why would you suspect that? Because they're pointing at you. <laughs> well, they're just being rude. Now, one of them walks right. over to you. Uh, excuse me, uh, have you been to Aglagash before? Beg your pardon, sir? Aglagash, have you been to it before? I we might have. have. What about Slizia Kingdom? Why why do you ask? Who are you, sir? Oh, my name doesn't matter. I'm just gathering information on a bounty. Ah, uh, yes. Damn it, Tatsuya. It's fine. I won't make the DM come up with an NPC name. You want to talk your way out of this one, Tatsuya? <sighs> As I was saying... We could also use someone who either has... Excuse me, I believe I was talking to you, sir. Uh, why do you need to know all this? Because your description matches that of the clown killer. The uh, who? The clown killer. I know, I heard you the first time. I was expecting some more elaboration. The Clown Killer of McKings. Is a clown going around murdering people? No, there's a person going around killing all the clown mascots. And I've heard that you've had a run-in with uh, said clowns before. All those encounters ended non-lethally. 
There were street fights. And yet you're the only one to ever have street fights with these clowns. Okay. Tell me more about the murders. They were all murdered with some sort of slashing weapon that we've never really seen before. You can't identify the slashing weapon. No, it's not like a broadsword or a longsword or any kind of dagger. It's some kind of two-handed sword. Like a... Oh. Like a strong downward thrust. Well, I don't use two-handed swords. I use a single curved blade and a dagger in the offhand. May I see them, please? Tatsuya presents his Daisho. I'll go get it. No, please, please don't. Oh, God, you're such a weeb. <laughs> Kiwi loves it when I get this out. St stop pulling it out. Stop <laughs> Draw the sword! Draw the sword! Draw the sword! Draw the okay. sword! I will say, Tatsuya keeps both the dagger and the katana in their sheath. Yeah. What kind of weapon is this? <laughs> it's a sword. It's a letter opener! It's great! I love it! <laughs> okay. Think of it like a curved longsword, if that helps. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Are you going to keep a sword? No. Okay. He only showed it to him. He didn't hand it over. <laughs> I was getting uh, prepared to basically uh, spell them asleep if they actually tried to make off with the sword. So you're being framed for murder. If they're framing me, they didn't do a very good job. If the murder weapon was clearly two-handed, it wouldn't match a katana at all. That's it. Yes. Look me dead in the eyes. And tell me that you haven't given them enough evidence to turn you in for a bounty anyways. <laughs> oh. They don't care if it's you or not. They care if there's enough evidence to make sure it can be seen as you. So they get paid. Like the partial bounty we did for the Adventurers Guild. Mm-hmm. Ugh. <sighs> Whether or not you're innocent doesn't matter to them. Their paycheck does. But I didn't do anything. I think have they you care? two as an alibi, don't I? Fair enough, fair enough. And Kosk, don't you have any kind of spells that would prohibit someone from lying? Uh, yeah, if you follow, you the doing the, uh, that, uh, that investigation with that opera house? Playhouse? I don't remember which. The theater. The theater, yes. So... We need allies, first and foremost, ones that don't think you're going around beating clowns to death. Yes. Eh, like they leave saying, shortly afterwards. Like I was saying, another melee fighter or someone skillful would be of use. Also, I think we could use a proper healer or defensive spellcaster so we don't have to keep risking ivy and 
One of these days we're gonna run into a problem we can't heal. Yes, because because while I can cast those kinds of spells, I'm often better off casting others. Exactly. They don't have to be strictly a healer. I mean, Herman filled that role. Maybe he got tired of us. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I still wish him all the best, no matter the circumstance. He says, sounding worried about it. I mean, I'm not too worried about him leaving. He can make his own decisions. He decided to escape Slizia with us. Fair. You uh, overhear some adventurers talking at the other table about the, the monster of Moor. How it's, it takes on tasks and the victims are never seen again. Is this table behind me? Yes. Akai's gonna lean back in her chair so she's on like the last two legs, like, be like, hey, buddies, what you talking about? The monster of of more. Everyone's heard of that. Apparently, it's a a brass level uh, adventurer too. Yeah, we had to uh kind of not be in towns because our buddy here had a curse, which is gone now, thank God. But, um... Okay, that's great. In real quick? The monster of Moor takes on tasks where it's to eliminate an entire organization, but they take on... They all... The, the task is to get rid of the head, like the person in control, but they don't stop there. They remove the guards, the maids, the people that they were enslaving. They just take and kill and remove everyone like they never existed. And you're saying this monster is an adventurer? That's what they say. No one's ever seen them before, though. Well, you know what that sounds like, Tatsuya? There's a moor off to the west. I mean, we could ask around there. But you know what that sounds like, Tatsuya? Our A next good old-fashioned, we can fix them redemption arc. Let's go, we find our new party member, probably, who's definitely not going to try and stab us in our sleep. Everybody give me... A constitution saving throw. Everybody except Fia. Yeah, you too. You're me, in. You're me, in here. Uh... Me, me. <laughs> yeah, you. X. Okay. Hello. Constitution saving throw. Huh. I guess I don't have proficiency with those. No way. I should. All right. Let's see here. No, I should. Hold on. What happened to my sheet? Did it reset again? No. Uh... No, it used to happen. Okay. My saving throw proficiencies got reset. That's all. Probably a roll 20 thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make sure. Uh... What's the plus? Plus three. You and Kiwi pass, but a, a large lizard person was walking past you, carrying several containers of beer, preferably the ones that she was about to chew drink, and collapses on. Kiwi, you are evens. Kiwi. Tatsuya, everybody uh, in the Adventurer's Guild collapses. Tatsuya stands up and draws the katanas. Ta Tatsuya, 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 you're, 
Tatsuya, you're barely able to hold on right now. The DC was what? 24. You're, it's, it, it's, you're barely, it's very strong, but very potent. Okay. Tell me what I am feeling right now because of that constitution. You're, saving. it's hard to stay awake. Am I awake, but underneath a person? Yes, you're underneath of a large lizard woman. Hey, Tatsuya, a hand would be great. Tatsuya stands up and gets the lizard woman up, starts looking around. Hex, how alert. much does your character weigh? Uh, I never I never thought about that. We're going to say think. about 400 pounds. How tall is she? DM? Yeah. I would be dead. No, you wouldn't. Um, She's We're not reincarnating you right now. That would be hilarious. I, Start yeah, up. I would be dead. dead. I would be dead. I would be crushed. You know what? Actually, you know what? I'm going to change state into water and then I'm going to move myself and then I'm just going to change back to normal. All right. Hex, when you wake up, it's going to look like you pissed yourself. <laughs> This, uh, um, the water go with her? The water is me. <sighs> and can we please? That's who's looking oh, I... around for the assailant. Uh, the doors open and mist pours in. The, uh, the person who takes on uh, and answers quests is passed out, but the master is standing in the room and goes to. Uh, you know, you could do things a little easier, Kozu. Who's that? I don't know how to say her name. Uh, Kozue. Kozue. Instead of knocking people out. Did you do the task? Um... So am I like am I in the doorway? <laughs> no, no, you're you've already entered. You're kinda of completely shrouded. Like uh you have like a, you're wearing like a, a cloak. Gotcha. Okay. Wait. Um Not the metagame or anything, but what the fuck just happened? Can I uh, help her put together her sheet? Uh, I this... think we're about to find out. <laughs> uh, this, uh, about five foot three figure just appears in the middle of the room, uh, fully shrouded in a, uh, dark navy blue cloak. Um, and initially it covers his face, but they lift a very pale hand and pull back the hood of the cloak. And you see a very, uh, pale expression. Um, but... Uh, very bright eyes and a very kind of like sweet, uh, almost doll-like face. Uh, dark hair, almost uh, bluish when it hits the light. Um, it's it's a young woman, uh, and she doesn't look perturbed at all by what's happening around her. Dende, you really need to stop putting the entire guild to sleep when she enters. Yes, but we need to keep the uh, the ad adventurers on high scent. The monster of war just brings attention, and nobody I'm goes awake. into the dangerous swamps. Because he is also awake. <clears throat> we seem to have people. Uh, Dende, of course. Two okay, Hold on. He's we have words with the monster. Friendly ones. Mon there's a monster here? Uh, sorry. It's just, we only know you by your title. I we, didn't quite we catch your name. We know this by a title? She, they just said it. Sorry, I'm Kozue. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a monster, last I checked. It's nice to meet you, Kozue. And Tatsuya will bow politely. Oh, My name is Sano Tatsuya. Uh, nice to meet you. And your your friend, uh, underneath that person? 
going to be the person I got out using chain shape. Right, yeah. uh, your your friend that was underneath that person. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, my name is Akane. I like soup. It's everywhere. My, my soup and um, <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> soup, <laughs> my soup never got to me. Everyone, <laughs> I'm kind of mad about it, so I'm gonna need a replacement soup. Probably not from you. Don't think it was you. You there? You put everyone to sleep. I want my soup. Where's my soup? It was free to be in with. You could just ask for another one. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm not mad anymore. Hey, um, well, it's lovely to meet the both of you. Um, but I'm just here to finish up a quest, uh, is all. And whatever monster business is going on is <laughs> probably he, just some sort of mix up. Here, here's your payment. He gives you a platinum piece and then falls to the ground. Oh, thank you. You killed so that you, man. No, he's, he's not dead. He's asleep. So you usually work alone, Kozue? Uh, typically, yes. Have you considered joining an adventuring party? Um, well, yes and no. Um, I typically work alone for, uh, well, you could just say that, uh, my method of adventuring is a bit unconventional. Uh, and it, it tends to intimidate others. Ma'am? Yes? I once looked a mafia boss in his face and told them this guy's junk was fucking mutilated so we didn't have to have him get married off. I think we're probably right up your alley, first of all. So, For the sake of clarity, this was a lie? Akane's <laughs> 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 just starting. <laughs> <laughs> if Akane had soup in her mouth, it's not there anymore. Of course you would feel the need to specify it was a lie. Huh? Um. Wouldn't you? No. Then, um, well, it, it's it's been quite some time since I've participated in any sort of uh, party business, and uh, typically, I work quite well independently, uh, so I I would have to see a very good reason for why I might join an adventuring party. Uh, Dende comes over to you. They have the Dark Lord's army after them. Oh, that's, um... Or so I'm told. I thought I will point directly at Tatsuya. He fights clowns! <laughs> I think <laughs> I think I've heard of a quest similar to something like that. Hold um. on. <laughs> Pose away. How about this? I'm also confused as to whether or not we're trying to recruit this person or what is happening here, Tatsuya, because it seems like you've just started talking to a stranger into joining us. This I did is not that desperate. You said this we Akane, you just said right before this we were heading off to the moors. Then and yeah? you wake up. Your beer is everywhere. Oh, oh goodness. Ugh. Why was I sleeping? You crushed two chairs on your way down. I thought, I thought you were going to say children. <laughs> you. Why would there be Living. children here? <laughs> I don't know. This is a fairy tale. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought you were going to say he crushed them. <laughs> oh, God. I am. We got like three threads going on here at once. We got to. Okay. Rolling back just a little bit. Akane. Tatsu is going to come close and whisper to her. This seems to be the brass rank adventure that group was talking about. And she is clearly quite skilled. Oh, uh, are you from the Moors? Yes. Say you could say so. <clears throat> Want to make a party? I did just say that. The, I'm. I'm a bit hesitant. Uh, 
to join any parties. What uh, if a group of adventurers could prove to you that they could keep up with you? Would that convince elf? you to join? Uh, what kind of proof would they be providing? Essentially, you set a task for them, and they made it. A challenge, if you will. Like a side quest. You don't know what yeah. a side quest is. I do know Still what a side quest is. Um. Uh, hey, just out of curiosity. Are you from here? Well, what do you mean by that? You keep cutting out, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to combat that. What do you mean by that? Like, I mean... Are you from here? Are you from Bagder? No. Yes? This is the nation we're in. Side quest, Tatsuya. She knows what a side quest is, Tatsuya. Like from a video game, Tatsuya. Establish that I'm from the moor, which is presumably, at the very least, near Bagder. Do you know what a video Are game they... is? Uh... Everybody uh, does it this... here. <laughs> You're in modern times right now. Is yeah. this our... You know you what? Right? You're right. I'm do you, stupid. Do you, do you need to yeah. sit down? Perhaps the gas is getting to you. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. One moment. <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am. Uh, Tatsu is going to go over <laughs> to Vanina <laughs> and uh, start helping her up off the floor. Ugh. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. What? <laughs> the adventurer, fighter of evil. I have heard of my, you. My reputation precedes me. Yes. Well, I'm you're honored. a slayer of weaklings across this realm, and some strong ones.
is the most interesting way we've get gotten people into the campaign. Oh my god, it is. This is awful. This is horrible. <laughs> it's so <laughs> bad. It's funny. <laughs> See, no, what are talking about? about? Hold on. We Hold on. I have a justification for this. It might seem strange, but... Is awake at this point? Yeah, Koss, you're awake now, too. The I... is gonna walk over to Cosk and sit down next to, next to them. I do have fans. <laughs> it would make sense uh, if she's one of them. Yeah, there... Some reason we all passed out. Oh, yeah. trust me, Mitch. You didn't. You didn't miss much. It's been a shit show. Cosa, wait. Do you know? Why that person casts sleep spells when you enter? Is that just because of your um fearsome re reputation? Uh, I can answer that. Sometimes she oh. gives a little too much information. Oh, yes and no. Um, I I do like being honest with people. And some of the missions that I've taken on have been a bit more secretive. But on top of that, uh, I happen to be an Azrai. And, well, I try not to advertise that since every party and their, and their grandson is <sighs> interested in having... Well, typically Azrais are fairly decent adventurers, particularly healers. And, well... That makes them a bit of a hot commodity. And as somebody who usually works alone, it is for my own comfort. I see. I have a Apologies question. for seeking you out so fervently. Though, <laughs> it There's is a, a bit of a shame for a healer to go solo, isn't it? Akane's raising her hand. Yes, Akane? Yes! Didn't you just advertise it, though? Oh, well, not publicly. This is a conversation, after all. Yeah, Connie's gonna look around at the many collapsed people and then look back at her. Right. <laughs> sure. If you have at least referred to yourselves as a potentially worthy party...
We are seeking someone of your skills. So, how about it? What would make you join up with us? How can we prove our worth? Uh, question for the DM. <laughs> yes. Would I know of any particularly difficult challenges in the area? Well, you know, taking on the Demon Lord, well, in the area, you know, there's been uh, some people that have been hiding out in the swamp area where you live where you just can't seem to find. And uh, they do have a, a bounty on them, but you've yet to succeed on uh, being able to uh, cash in on this. In the swamps, where I've currently set up shop, there are just a few individuals who have escaped my watchful eye, so to speak. Um, and I've been trying very hard to track these fellows down, but I just can't seem to get a pin on them. Hmm. If you were to help me out, then perhaps I'd consider it. Are you referring to the belligerent bog bandits? No, I took care of them. Oh. Thank God you saved them. <laughs> what information do you have on these people? I'm certain the lovely tavern keeper here. May be able to help us out with that. He's he passed out on the floor. The <laughs> lovely I, guildmaster. Who are we? I, who I, else was no, part I, of this? Who was well not passed on. out? Uh, the person who puts everybody to sleep to prevent you from dropping too many heads out from your extra dimensional space and panicking everyone. All I'd like to say is it is very, very evident that we are all very, very out of practice. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's so like, yeah. vis visually evident? This is like, this is like amateur hour for this group. <laughs> That's who you just hops the bar and starts looking up the tavern keeper by shaking him. <laughs> Everything. I'll have one more. <laughs> He serves the drinks. Uh, perhaps, perhaps we don't bother him. Perhaps we just go ahead, and I, I'm sure I can fill you all in on the way. All right. If I can get a, we... if I can get a picture of them, I'll be able to find them much easier. Are we They're... bringing the other lizard too? They're awake. That's a good I, I think he's just going to be j j following us, whether we want one, uh, one or two or not. Like a stray cat. Uh. A couple of things before we allow that first. Excuse me, ma'am. Tatsuya hops back across the bar and crosses over to the new lizard folk. I don't believe I caught your name. Uh, you do not recognize my smell? And she'll <laughs> oh. breathe on you. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm human. We don't know each other's scents. No. I am the infamous Vanina Venom Breath. I am famous for my Venom Breath. Makes sense. How do you feel about our friend here? And he'll gesture to Kosk. Kosk just kind of raise an eye at a, at a... Uh... Are you... Attempting to set me up with your lizard friend. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna head back over That's to Kosk. Proud. He's hot, Kosk. single, and ready to mingle. I remember those other lizard folk that you were with looking down on you for your spellcasting abilities. Is that something common among lizard folk, or... Is it, Gil? Yes, it is. Yes, but, uh, Gizli is. 
then we just need to make sure she doesn't share those superstitions. Most adventurers don't tend not to, but I guess you can never really be safe. Too safe on. Hey, it'll at least be more screening than we did for that amateur chef. <laughs> so, Vanina, can I call you Vanina? Yes. Do you want to join our party to help us go down into the moors to find Pazue's uh, targets? Wow, you're desperate. We lost a couple of people, Akane, and everyone else is passed out. As long as you're not attacked by the mutant mob monsters, then. The mog I would monsters. be happy to. I should have said marsh monsters, but I said mog monsters. The bog bitches. Oh god, the there's belligerent this bog game. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the belligerent bog bitches. Like there's there's this cra- there's this fucking coven of hags <laughs> somewhere in the moors <laughs> who are wearing like uh t- fucking. Suede bags and Gucci shoes. <laughs> and they've got like the by any means necessary jacket and stunner shades. Those are the belligerent bog bitches. <laughs> hey, Cosk, do you want some alcohol? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've. Do you want some alcohol? Because I don't know about you, but I am way too sober for this. <laughs> what a match. Connie is just going to pull out some alcohol from her pocket dimension and just hand what it costs because she's going to start drinking hers. Oh, where did <laughs> come from? <laughs> yeah, so just go ahead and start, uh, just start drinking too. I have this cool little pocket dimension that I can bring around with me and open it up anywhere. I use it for very legal things. Don't worry about it. Hey. Sounds lovely. It's actually a lot of farmland and then a lot of building materials right now, but eventually, eventually it's going to be a hideout and then it's going to be cool as hell. Cool. Interesting. What's happening? What? That's your new ability. It's m- mine? Yes. <laughs> we all look at the roll like, what's happening? <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Um, so reintroductions, because this has been very, um, normal. I am Akane, that's Tatsuya, that's Kosk, that's a lizard we don't know very well yet who fell on top of me. Um, can't you, uh, can't you tell who he is by his breath? She. She? She, okay, so... There's no reason a laser. Oh, sorry. Just, just because she's a lady lizard doesn't mean she's got a, a lady voice, okay? She's got a very deep voice because she's a large lizard. It makes sense in context. I got a word for that that I'm not going to say over the internets. It's, it's convenient because species are so played, guys. Bye. Our adventuring group is called the Lunar Dragons, and I am the leader of. Well, our adventure group is Lunar Dragons. I'm, a, I'm the leader of a merchant group called Solar Dragons. Oh, dragons. Are you familiar with any? It's just a name. See, and is there any significance to the concepts lunar and solar? The sun and the moon are cool. Well, I can agree with that. I like space. Space is pretty cool. Space. <laughs> They're 
Hey. Are a bit deeper meanings, but it uh might not make sense to you. Our adventuring group originally was a lot of us that grew up in the same little city. We all left together, and it's just Tatsuya and I left from there now. We, oh. the others are either missing or something's happened to them, and it's just, just us now. Oh, yes. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> shall we shall we be going <laughs> yeah let's we can walk and talk if uh Fenina wants to come with us anyway Wait. five seconds i thought will just tilt her head back chug the rest of her drink and slam the empty bottle on the table okay we're good that was somebody else's <laughs> drink no, she pulled it out of her pocket dimension remember that was somebody else in your pocket dimension that was their drink <laughs> she doesn't have a town yet <laughs> Who would put their drink in my pocket dimension? They just put it I down for like five travel. seconds. Tatsuya would. In. <laughs> That's po Tatsuya's pocket dimension too. You let them in there all the time. You know what? It could have been Ivy's. Uh, oh, I'm the uh, one who makes her drinks. By the way, if anyone is interested, I do... I was able to make a token for the character that you all are introduced to. Oh, yeah, we got a... Yeah, um, where, where yeah. would you like me to post that? I could send it to somebody directly um, if you prefer. Send it to me directly, because I, I, I gotta do a thing for you. The token's already on the sheet. Uh, no, I gotta... have a, it's a different kind of token. It's the, it's the thing we see. It's the Asrai. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Oh, she's cute. She's very cute, yeah. Okay. I gotta get a few seconds to upload some things. All right, now um, send it to me. Oh, God. Yeah. We'll do it, sir. I'll add it to your sheet later. Hi, hi, boss. Hi, hi. Uh, Light rising dragon jump scare. I don't remember where I saved your token. Oh, uh, can you send me just the image? Not sure what you said. I, I sent you the token. Can you so I can I can send you the image separately. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, DM. Yes. We keep being able to see the Discord. I know. I'm a bit. I'm um, in. moments uh, of uh, audience omnipotence. Deal with it. I was busy. Just getting a token. An image, <laughs> if you would. Picture. A picture. Ooh, this one's transparent. Yeah. Uh, okay. While we All wait, right. Akane's gonna reach back into the pocket dimension, pull out some jelly beans, and just start eating them. Uh, the site- hang on. Question. Are jelly beans- do they exist within this world? <laughs> They do! I have I have a lot of candy that we got a couple sessions ago when we still did shopping RP bits. Okay. I have All two right. servings of jelly beans and I'm eating one of them, so. Alright. Uh, not that any of you would be clocking it, but upon hearing the initial term side quest, uh, 
Kozue has been tracking every little modern thing you guys have brought up. And it's just like, mm. <laughs> uh... She'll offer a jelly bean to you. Uh, I will very hesitantly take it, uh, and we're walking out of the tavern, yes, as we're doing yeah, this? Yeah, we're walking and talking. Yeah, cool. Well, uh, I'm gonna pull do... my hood back over my head so that I keep up whatever's going on. Alright, I'm gonna... Do you want the spoiler avatar, or do we want the Azrai avatar? The Azrai, for now. Okay. Yeah. I have I'm making given you things one... complicated. <laughs> I have given you 112 kilobytes of my roll 20 storage. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's okay. We get a lot, don't worry. Especially if you're up. Uh, have a subscription. I don't. So I gotta make it count. Uh, actually, let me just <sighs> test. Oh, yeah, it works. It works perfectly. All right, we're good. So have we gauged, like, are, are, are we just straight up not suspicious about this new person being from our world or not? I think we're trying to feel that out. I've been... I've... I've not said anything that would explicitly say... Blah, 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 words. I would not... I would do my best okay. not to give that away. In um, that case... Because of that, and because Akane is tipsy, I guess, now, since I did make her chug alcohol. I'm gonna have her start humming theme songs. <laughs> Any in particular? I wanna be <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I was like, I swear to god, if it's Pokemon or Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first one I thought of. God damn it. It's probably she probably goes like Pokemon and like Dragon Quest to shit, just humming whatever the hell comes to mind. Yeah, at this Kozue's eyes will like physically twitch before she like covers it up. But you're the one leaning, so nobody can see your eyes. Huh. Yeah, and yeah. I do have a hood over my head again, so none of us notice. Connie's just doing her thing. So, you come here often? Actually, this is this is where I typically go for quests. Oh, just into the moors? Oh, the moors? Yes, uh, I, I did say that this was also a current base of operations for me. Well, you're in Bagdur, you're gonna take the teleportation circle to either Sai or Ni. <laughs> That's up to your guide. I mean, on this day, will we be the Knights of Me? <laughs> me. Me. <laughs> I require a shrubber. Shrubbery. Was chopped down the largest tree with a herring. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Kazui, right? Okay. Kazue will tell you that uh, the quest that she picked up for these uh, people that have invaded the moor is uh, these people come and uh, do murders and run back to the moor 
the guard has uh, scoured the area, but have not found any trace of the any trace of them, nor footprints, any evidence that they were ever in the moor. The only thing they found was the dead bog creatures and the creature of the moor, or the monster of the moor. But since the monster of the moor was an adventurer, they let it go. They let her pass. More, more realistically, they found traces of the monster of the moor. Because if they found the monster of the moor, no witnesses. <laughs> yes. Hey, how do you mean? <laughs> Uh, because if you're talking about like things you regret doing in in your past, it's very difficult. <laughs> Real quick, this is out of character information that our characters wouldn't have heard of. Yes, what she just said. Yes. Okay. Cool. Just checking. I just want to ask about the monster of the more. I imagine I would have. I would I would be able to give you information about that considering I've said this is my this is my current base of operations. I believe your uh, settings for uh uh voice activity is up a little too high. That's why it keeps not picking you up. Oh, shoot. That happens to me too. Pokemon. It doesn't with Kiwi. <laughs> um let me try and fix that. All you need to do is lower it, or, uh, put... It, usually it comes on as automatic. But I prefer either higher or lower, depending on the situation, especially if someone's yelling in the background. I won't mention who. Meow. No, not the cat. Meow. The cat, the cat can yell as much as he wants. Wait, is, is that any better? We don't know yet. Mm. Ah. That's a little too loud now. No, no, no. Fine. not that Honestly. setting. Not that setting. I don't know Freaky. what I'm messing with. What? <laughs> one, one second. What? It would be your input sensitivity. Okay. No. The what? The input Sorry. sensitivity. That's what I'm. That's Sorry. what I'm adjusting. I have Sorry. not touched anything this? else. Yeah. Draw the sword. Kiwi, are you actually drunk? No. Okay, just checking. So just no make it a little bit more green here. and we might be able to hear you more. You can't prove anything. Um, green? Uh, is it on auto? It is on auto. But if I were to adjust the input volume... Uh, Oh no, don't worry about the input volume. Okay. Yeah, that, that just do... makes you louder or quieter. Don't cool. do auto. Gotcha. Um, if you do auto and you start off quiet, it'll not pick you up. Gotcha. All right, so turn off auto. Yeah, because if you start off loud and then you get quieter, it won't pick up your quiet anymore. Okay. And you just want me to put it lower. Yeah, just a little lower. How's that? We'll find out. Okay. Thank you. No problem. All right. You freak being Kiwi are always all smiles. All right. So you head over to the teleportation room and uh, the guard there is a little shocked to see the monster of more with people. Will there be a return trip for the lot of you? Hmm. We'll see. I, I'd assume so. I mean, we're only going after some simple bandits, after all. He raises an eyebrow and says, proceed. <laughs> Uh, 
proceed. <laughs> All right. You head over and uh, you get teleported to uh, Nee. It only takes uh, two silver to be teleported. I can per person or per teleport? Per teleport. I suppose for the sake of maintaining the docile appearance, I will... I will pay for it. I will pay. I, just, I, just, I nope. You don't get a chance. I threw the oh. money there. Oh. I do it. I pay. Okay. <laughs> all, all right then. You're teleported to the swamp. The swamp is a peaceful place, full of monsters and other unsightly, unsightly things. Ooh. What point do we come in at? None right now. Okay. But it will be the top. Damn. Wanna go look at the bones. What's it with you and licking things? I said look at the bones. I'm not gonna lick them. I don't oh. know how long they've been there. So, wait, that has something to do with licking? No, I just wanna go look at them. <clears throat> <laughs> Upon getting into the, where are you gonna start? Actually, yeah, yeah. Um. Well, I suppose we just kind of start walking through and seeing if there's anything that catches our eyes, right? All right. The bones. We should try to be bones. looking for tracks or signs that tracks have been covered up. All right, where did I put them? We should probably put ourselves on the map. You're coming in from the north. All right, so I'll ask you to give me a perception as you're walking through. Actually, uh, just give me your base perception for now. Base perception? Like passive? Passive. Your passive perception. Passive. Yeah, thank you. My passive 17 is 18. for me. 17, seven, 17. Seven, okay, is everyone 17? No, mine's 18. Okay, one. That's you? 15. Um, 15. Okay. Can I see the bones? No, you're kind of yeah, far away. Damn. I'm gonna go down the path then. Uh, question. Yes. Rem remind me the benefit that Sixth Sense provides? That depends on the sense you pick. Yeah, what sense did you pick? Blood. Uh, <laughs> blood. You can sense blood. Uh, Li life juice within thirty feet. How many ranks do you have? That sacred red smoothie. Uh, I think it's rank one. All right, yeah. thirty feet, and it's always ongoing. You can't turn it off. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a sense for um, dark presences. I imagine you'd get used to it after a while. Yeah, like I can, I, I, I'm aware that there's blood coursing through all of your bodies, uh, but I've, I'm good at tuning that out. Oh God! Can you imagine if you had six sense blood and then a drawback that says every time you uh, detect blood, you get horny or something. You you make that sound like a problem. Oh god, no! <laughs> Let's keep walking. Hucky is not here, but let's keep walking. Wait, I'm here. He's so, he's he's so following behind. So what is it we're actually looking for out here? Signs that these murderers have been here. 
you just came out of the teleport circle and you, there's no chance that they'd be walking back and forth, right? 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 Is, is that teleport circle always teleport people to the same spot? It teleports them from teleport circle to teleport circle. Okay, so, yes. I'm walking the, this way. These are some of the minor teleport circles to take you to the smaller places. Kosk has the teleport circles to all the major uh, towns. So, do we know any... Uh, much about these murderers? Uh, anything specific they wear or anything like that? They don't even have faces. No one's ever seen them. Somebody turn on a fan. A fan? I heard something that sounded like a piece of paper, paper blowing in a fan. It's just my yes, soul. Uh, we're uh, all walking I, around and Tatsu is not even here yet. I'm okay. here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but he meant the... stop gaslighting me. First session, we come back. Uh, we he... do not see Tetsu. <laughs> what? Oh, on the map? The uh... Oh, yeah. I know what happened. Gil, you made me a GM so I don't get dragged around with the players. Oh, well, let's just fix that right now. <laughs> <laughs> saying this is like I, I genuinely wasn't trying to do that I just couldn't see you <laughs> where could he be <laughs> damn it's like I can hear him still can I see the bones I will say just looking at those bones I can tell you they don't taste good and there's no blood in them I know but I do have <laughs> Another feature. You, you right. have to reload to lose your DM uh, privilege. Oh, you wow. range taste? Can I see the A bones? little bit. <laughs> that, my last character had that. <laughs> the one who's in prison. Oh. So, hmm, what are you in for, buddy? Grand mm -hmm. Theft Auto. Oh. My city. He got four stars or three stars. Ah, I should have broken to the airport. Um. By the way, we've long we've long rested since. Yes, the you, last you've story long rested right. a lot. Okay, just gonna put my things back. Um, Tatsuya, as you're looking for tracks, you find none. Absolutely nothing. Except for regular tracks that go down these uh, trails. But they look like they're just walking. Kozue, where have you checked before for these brigands? Oh, well, typically they attack along the trails, simply because that's where most people tend to traverse. Um, and it's very easy to stab people when there's an approximate quantity. I'm gonna climb this tree. And, uh, uh Kozue is gonna try and, like, stay near the trail and is definitely, at least with her posture, going to hope that you guys do the same. Matani <laughs> is off on her own. <laughs> That's how you will try to remain with the group. Fighting the urge to go fetch a Can I climb this tree? Give me a climb check. Athletics, I think. Yeah, it could be acrobatic. I think there's an actual climb check. I nah. don't. I, there is in this. In anyway. I know. I know there's a climb speed. Yeah, yeah. You're able to climb it. Cool. I'm on top of the tree now. 
looking around. This... Oh, there she is. <laughs> you notice uh, Akane oh, climb a hot. tree and then branches are starting to fall off the tree? Hmm. I spot you guys oh, and I start waving why? at you. Because it's a dead tree? <laughs> It, it is a pretty dead tree. <laughs> I'm, I'm waving at you guys from on top of the tree. As she's waving, the tree's bending back and forth. <laughs> oh, that's... Akane, why? I mean, it I is a vantage point. Out. Devil's advocate here. Yeah, perhaps it would be wise. But we do have to consider that we can see her, so can they. You, you should have chosen one of the, one of the alive trees. So you had a little bit of uh, foil, foil, uh, foil is covered. Now you're just standing on top of a tree that's probably not even going to hold your weight very long. Let's just head over towards her. Can okay. you see the bones? Yes, you see the bones. <laughs> you really want to look. You <laughs> want. You really want to look at those bones. <laughs> I do. She's going to settle down the tree. Oh, well, there she goes. <laughs> I'm going the bones. Um, and the longer we stay here, you notice that uh, Kozue is also, like, uh, pulling down her hood, um, and also, like, making herself smaller, almost more demure, so to speak, uh, and almost visually weaker of a target. Guys, right, there's bones! <laughs> you. Bones! <laughs> What kind of bones? Oh god. What time of the uh, night? The big kind? <laughs> it is 2pm. Uh, what time? What time do the uh, murderous marauders as we're calling them now apparently uh, typically attack? Like, are, are they usually dead of night sort of guys or? Uh, no one's ever seen them. They just uh, saw the murders. And uh, they don't have exact time on the deaths. They can only guesstimate, but they think it's between evening and night. Hmm. Oh, damn. I can't. Can't you speak with that? Maybe we should. Yeah. Uh, Sig's probably been dead too long.
we could we could set down a uh, a zone to that that'll keep out keep us hidden. I think I can do that. Do they attack weaker people? They've attacked. Um, I'm gonna put your names for a long time. Hmm. I could pretend. Goes away. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It won't be What's that. my name? Uh, Kozue will tell you that they have uh, murdered wealthy people. Usually coming through here in carriage or uh, adventurers that look weak. A party so that's walking trail. through with two lizard men. And somebody that is capable with a sword in very heavy armor does not look weak. I, w I was going to say something, but yeah, no, Nakata doesn't look particularly strong, even though she is. Hmm. She's going to climb this tree now. <laughs> what tree? This one. I do have an idea. We, I can set down a sanctum nearby. Nakane can, we, uh, we can wait there until their usual hunting hours. Nakane can come through with a, with a, with Honeydew in the ca in the uh, caravan. Oh, I was gonna ask if I'm. The, oh yeah, no, I'm the bait. Uh, you teleported to the Elven uh, city, remember? Honeydew in the caravans in the pocket dimension. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's well, where Akane keeps shoving the raptor. Well, I don't mind being the bait with you, Akane. What was that? Mm, I don't mind being the bait. It would make it more believable if there was a bodyguard, so yes. Hmm. Unfortunately, Tatsuya looks far too strong, and most people are wary of, a lizard, of lizard folk's strength anyway, so three of us are kind of out on that. Hmm. Even one bodyguard would be a deterrent for a whole group of bandits? Did you offer Well, to when they look like off? you, yes. Well, perhaps Fair not point. so much if the group of bandits were to outnumber the party with the bodyguard. Given that we don't have a precise number on how many individuals there are, it would be wise to assume that... Well, seeing as they've overpowered wealthier parties and even adventurers, uh, groups Does of I adventurers. Level with me real quick. Do I look yes. like one of the weakest members of this group? You look lovely, you're, darling. You're, you're a human. Do I look weak? <laughs> you're a human, and you're a ca and you yeah uh, you're not. Wait, you don't wait. wear uh, heavy one. <laughs> you're human. That's what weak. The point is supposed to be that I look weak. We all know what I can do, though. I think I should be good, oh, yeah. baby. We can find a spot near, nearby where I could place place down a, uh, a private sanctum. Well, I wouldn't mind stepping in as bait with you, because what sense does it make for somebody with some amount of strength to be traveling by their lonesome in a march? A marsh, pardon. I uh, like marsh better. Morsh. <laughs> Welcome to the Morsh. <laughs> Morsha. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Morsh. Bait gang, bait gang, bait gang, bait gang. gang. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind playing the role of bait alongside of you. After all, it would make sense if you wish to represent yourself as a stronger individual. I could be represented as the individual in need of protecting. Oh no! No, my whole thing is people are supposed to think I'm weak so they underestimate me, and then they don't realize there's a problem, she'll like flex her hand and the claws will come out, and so they get too close. Oh, I see. I'll move her hand and the claws will go back. Very good. Right then. Well, then I suppose we two would make an excellent set of bait. Big Big 
I'd like to say that uh, Kanae is actually saying baby. Marsha. Marsha. Marsha, get the Marsh. Marsha. Marsha, get off the back, Marsh. Drive the Marsh to the maw. <laughs> Top of our game. <laughs> right, so we're setting up a uh, a faux camp of sorts. Yeah, Cosk, what did you have in mind? Yeah. I have two spells that basically create a private spot. There's the tiny the hut and the private sanctum. Uh... My thoughts are to use the tiny hut, as sound cannot pass through the sanctum. We need to hear. What we can do is find a, a secluded spot where an opaque dome isn't likely to be to be found. The bones. But yeah. The bones. That we, can, that we can hear and intercept quickly. The bones. The bones is a perfect spot. Akane did have to climb a tree to spot them. It would be the best spot to set up the tut. In the tree? No, by the bones. Well, the bones. They're that you way. Do a, you may also consider that there's an excellent area where two individuals may want to set up camp. Uh, and I'm going to gesture towards that area. <laughs> It's close enough to the trail that we would have visual on it, but it's also far enough away that it sets us apart from the beaten path. You guys could go in the pocket dimension and we'll set up camp and make it look like we're tired. That, that could work too, but are you able to inform us that some, something is happening from within? Wait, what am I talking about? I can set up a telepathic bond. As long as it's open, the communication should work both ways. With the link pearls. Yeah. Oh, shoot. We never got Mitch's link pearl back. Patsy, have we ever gotten anyone's link pearl back? No. I need to get more made. Yeah, we kind of do. I think there's only, what, two of us maybe with link pearls now? Kosk, do you have one? Does Kosk have one? Yes, Kosk has one. Okay. Could be in for inventory. Would I have looted a Link Pearl off of somebody they, else? It yeah, would have a different have frequency. frequency. Yeah. They're not <laughs> quite like sending stones. I mean, they're, I imagine um... if I'm taking out entire parties. <laughs> no, the ones we made were like custom. Ah. Uh, you have to join our Link yeah, Shell. The... Oh, the God. Basically. <laughs> Uh, basically, uh, radios that have one set uh, frequency that can't cha that can't change. Yeah, but uh, if I'm taking out like large groups of people, I would be able to get my hands on multiple link pearls, all with one frequency. True. If they had them, because they were expensive. Also they are true. I mean, and, you did say I was taking out high priority targets. And they were from, and they are near the elf area. They were from we'll the. Figure it out later. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I'll be able to communicate with at least Tatsuya and Kost, so we should be fine. But why would they have link pearls when they had phones in this area? <laughs> what? It's we magic. The but this, there's there's poor cell reception here. Listen. Yeah. They built didn't... a cell tower in the swamp? Yeah. Listen, we didn't get isekai <laughs> by fucking getting n nuked and a bunch of other bad shit happening to us just so we could go back to using smartphones. Get in the pocket dimension, Tatsuya. You have any games on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Vanina I forgot to ask Yes. are you any good in a fight oh excellent I'm, I'm sorry you don't you don't know each other you 
saw us meet. I wasn't paying attention to that conversation. You're actively seeking out new party members. <laughs> and she was the only other person who woke up. That's a red flag. Yes, oh. it is. But it's not like my track record is very good. It means that I am resilient against poisons and mind control. Oh. And I just need to keep at it until we get someone who sticks. You're resistant to mind control? Well, I mean, it may mean that. I, <laughs> I'm not. But <laughs> <laughs> hypothetically, I mean, someone who's not asleep. In when, theory. <laughs> Hopefully you won't have to test that matter. Connie will start sweating nervously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Axie just slowly looks over at Akane as he says that. I'll have this conversation with her in the pocket dimension. Forgive me. I was just hoping that maybe someone other than Tatsia would be able to help wake everyone else up if I decided to make everyone that we were attacking stand still for a bit. Yeah. Alright then. Let's set up camp. You don't need to worry about that at all. It's definitely completely normal. I don't do mind control. It's uh, cost. I mean, Nina, right. let me show you into the pocket dimension. Oh no, he's using substitution. So those three will go into the pocket dimension and we'll go over here to set up a camp. Where are you setting up camp? Right here. Okay. I climbed that tree. I noticed. Um, and while we're kind of setting up, uh, Kozue's, uh, just kind of, like, asking very, like, almost borderline awkward icebreakers. Uh, it's just like, so how long have you been adventuring for? <laughs> just like, this uh -huh. is your, this is your uncle at the family reunion who hasn't seen you in a few years. Just trying to figure out, like, okay, what's your deal? <laughs> well, our parents were adventurers, and I was, like, the first, like, waterbender we had. Because my mom was really sad about us not having any waterbenders, and then I found out by, like, launching myself across a field on accident. So we've been kind of training since, so I guess since we were kids, we stopped our town from being attacked by goblins. Uh, specifically because I kept poisoning my friends on accident, but it's fine. Wow, that's quite a bit to get up to as children, no less. Um, and you... All of that was purely incidental? No, in our parents defeated the Dark Lord. So, we aren't the only adventurers in our... Or at least Tati and I aren't the only adventurers. Everyone else... Cost, we kind of picked up, and then you saw what happened earlier. Your family has slain the Dark Lord. That's a little hard to believe. Well, obviously he's back, so they didn't do a good job of it. I, I can't agree. Our older siblings should be taking care of it, which um, they definitely, totally, 100% are... They're gonna die. They're so, so gonna die. But it's oh. not our problem. It's a bit of a long story. Huh. Interesting. Um, but I will say, you all seemed very familiar with the nature of things back in the city, like, with all the modernities of the like. We broke into a congressman's room, and he had a big computer. Well, I mean, given that you come from such a small town, I would imagine it might be difficult to initially wrap your head around those sorts of things. Connie will narrow her eyes at you. Wait a second, did you say modernities? Yes. I have a question. Yes! Because <laughs> yeah, you're not I here. <laughs> I don't hear you. Wait, you, put, 
Fucking Vanina got to say stuff. What? Oh wait, what was that? Are we oh. sharing the pearl? Is that is that what's up? No, we're not. Is this, is this thing on a speakerphone? They should that's, be in the pocket dimension. That's that's gonna gonna be gone. Get back into the pocket dimension. Get back. Get back. I'll get this spray bottle. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So like curiosity, um, because I don't do blunt. Well, no, I do blunt. That's why I'm asking this way. Do you know what Japan is? Um, well, I've I've met someone named Japan. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's look a name. Me <laughs> look, look me in the eye. Do you think I'm stupid? No. What? What could have given you that impression? The fact that I try to make people think I'm stupid so they realize just how wrong they are when I'm driving a needle through their heart. Oh. Well, I certainly hope you don't intend to do that to me. I do not. Mainly because we are genuinely trying to get people to come with us and adventure and hang out. However, we also have this really, really fun habit of everyone we've picked up for our party so far has uh, died and then come back to life. So I just wanted to know if maybe you did that or if you think I'm insane. Well, what kind of died and come back to life are you referring to? So you don't think I'm insane? Cool. Um, well, it happens all the time in adventures. About one thing, Kiwi. Do, do remember that revival spells outright exist. I know several. Yes. True. <laughs> As However, do reincarnation Akane's spells. <laughs> Akane's never seen them, so she doesn't know that. Are you referring to the spell casting sense? The otherworldly so sense? Back where there's... Death of the spell? Well, yes. Oh, shit. That's typically the nature of quite a few healing spells. Oh. Um. I'm gonna pretend this conversation never happened. Do you want some gummy worms? I would love some. <laughs> <laughs> um however uh as she's like help continuing to help set up camp she's like noticeably just like keeping her head a little bit more turned away uh point where it's just like ah. <laughs> did i notice anything up um Oh, she's she's very good at keeping her composure. She's got a good uh, stone face. But it's just like trying to keep it a little bit away from you. <laughs> All right, so a few hours go by and it turns in the evening. But you and the pocket dimension don't know this. Okane's making soup. Weren't you the bait? The yeah, bait can make soup. We set up camp. A bait soup. soup. Yeah, what but kind of soup, soup are you making? The bait thing. Hang on. If you're making food, you're vulnerable. This is super important. What kind of soup are you making? Chicken noodle. Okay. God damn it. All right. I have noodles and I have chicken stuff, but if you have a better soup idea, let me know. Uh, probably don't have soybean stuff, so I was gonna say, if you say biso, dead giveaway. <laughs> I do think I have beans, actually. And stuff like are that. they are, are, are they soybeans? I have been told I'm allowed to get things as long as they exist and they aren't potatoes. DM, do soybeans exist? <laughs> they do not. Potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> That's why that's why miso doesn't exist in this world. They don't have soybeans. Mm. <laughs> All right, chicken noodle soup it is. So, um 
understand you wanted to bury the conversation just a bit earlier, but the whole dying and being reborn again. Um, reborn you... the monster! <laughs> would you be able to explain that just a little bit more to me? Maybe, but the first thing I'd have to question is, do you think other worlds exist besides this one? Well, certainly. I mean, right, and if I, said I, was, so if I was from one and I died and I showed up here, would you believe me? Well, I certainly believe that that's believable. I mean, there's such things as the celestial planes, the hells, and <laughs> all that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so the next thing Akane Fish is going to say, say in Japanese, right, and if I, if I speak like this, can you understand me? Uh, at this, Kozue's face fucking drops. Oh, shit. She's a weep. So you can't understand. You could say so. And she starts speaking in Japanese as well. So oh, this is... Hell yeah. So why'd you say shit? Uh, well, what am I supposed to say? Well, it's you're like... not the first person we've come across like this. There's actually quite a few of us here. Not oh. even just adventurers. We run into kids, just random ass people. There's a lot of people who, like, died. We aren't even the only world. It's kind of weird. Well, a, a fog rolls in. I mean, you don't think to, like, set out a little disclaimer? Like, hey! Fun fact about a whole bunch of the people in this world. We're not from this world. <laughs> That's a little bit strange, don't you think? Eh, we've been just been saying we've been talking in a secret code that our uh, group made up when we speak in Japanese to each other. Say it's okay. a whole adventuring thing we started doing when we were kids, made up language. Well, I understand that, but also, you don't advertise it yourself, so why would you assume that I do? Oh, I just lack subtlety and we have this really, really fun, um... We have this really fun record of running into people who are from the U.S. or from Japan or just somehow finding them and then wanting them to join our adventuring party. So I was wondering if we were keeping up on that trend. This is wildly circumstantial. Hey, twice is a coincidence, three times is a pattern. Give me a perception or check. <laughs> We're about to be murdered. <laughs> no, we're fine. Yeah. It takes forever for my character to load. I am <laughs> going to mulligan that. The hell are you also, measuring? Blood sense. I'm gonna mulligan that again. <laughs> my blood. It's, it's, it's tingling. I can feel blood you can somewhere not. else. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I don't have to mulligan it anymore. <laughs> you, feel, you hear uh, what appears to be like a clanking of bones. <laughs> Rattling bones. The bones. The rattling. Rattling you know boys. I feel like I've made a mistake. <laughs> She's gonna activate the link crawl. Hey, Tutsi, you remember those bones? You can't oh, talk no. to him in another uh, plane. The thing is open. We've been able to in the past. Oh, is the door open? Yeah, it's it's open. We specifically left it open so we can contact him. Okay. Yes. Remember those bones? Yeah, I, I kind of hear him moving. And it I'm screams at you. It's yelling. <laughs> It's big loud, it's big loud. It's big loud. <laughs> we pissed it off. I think it's because I went over there earlier. Mmm, I remember this guy. <laughs> Where is the ballad music that I had? There it is. And it screams at you. Not the uh, encounter that you were hoping for, but when you said next to the bones, I'm like, oh. 
He had to. I'm yeah. never gonna be curious about anything ever again. Nonsense! It's... It's a bone dragon. Huh? You've never encountered a bone dragon before? Nope. Wow, that was a crit fail? It was a one? <laughs> <laughs> you the you you were so shocked by the fact that we hadn't seen a bone dragon that you just spaced out. Oh no, that's not a crit oh. fail. It just shows the color because one of your rolls was a one. Ah, you okay. Twenties for your initiative. I'm very fast. She has advantage on initiative rolls as being a ninja. Oh okay. god, a bone dragon. Oh jeez, that's high. Roll both. Uh, I mean, this is gonna be fun. Oh no, that's right. That seems right. All right, what do I get a bonus to on my perception or my thing? Fifteen plus what? I forgot how to read character sheets. So five e plus eight. Oh, it's plus zero. So in regards to the dragon? I think we can friend it. <laughs> you see something glowing oh, from its mouth as it's pointing towards you. Shit. Uh... Alright, yeah. turn order turn. Kosk. Dude, I'm reading my spells here. Oh, actually, you know what? Instead of that, everybody give me a wisdom saving throw. Ah! Right! Yes, Dragon Fear. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan that. Yeah, I'll stick with the 21. And I might have the plus 12 to resist mind altering and mind oh, being shit. Take the first one. Sorry about that. Oh, God. No, not for your first combat. Eh. It's just dragon fear. You were frightened. Oh! Okay. Maybe it's friendly. It's probably not friendly. I wonder if it's the same as Pathfinder, you know, conditions. Disadvantage in all ability checks and attack rolls while frightened. Uh, is there any limitation on me moving closer to it? The creature yeah. can't willingly move closer to the source of the fear. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you are feared for one minute. Ah. You're the only one who failed it. Uh, let me see. Well, Kosk obviously did not fail. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, she was the only one that failed. Akane passed for once. <laughs> what? What do you mean Akane passed for once? What's that supposed to be hot? Alright, Kosk, what you doing? The fuck do you mean yeah. Akane passed? Ooh, that's right, there's uh, new features now. Let's see here, where is it? Okay, I know what I'm doing. 
There's supposed to be like uh, AOE features now with uh, Roll20. I don't see them though. Uh, for that you need to go to the measurement tool and instead of having a line shape, you can do a square, a circle, a cone, or a beam. I don't see those options. Did you Here we go. use the new? Is it the new UI system thing? Yeah. Uh, Did you opt into that or no? I can turn it on and off. Here we oh, go. There we on. go, Tatsu. Tatsu, yeah. Your, uh, your weapon is now uh, a holy weapon. It deals uh, radiant damage on you. Ho 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 Cos, thank you so much. <laughs> oh god. So I'm gonna I like hit that. up my uh <sighs> Oh wow that's I'm cool. <laughs> I mean it's terrifying, but it's still cool. Slap down sickening radiance uh, behind it, so only uh, so only it is hit. It needs to make me a DC twenty one con save. I take forty ten radiant and a level of exhaustion. It can't become exhausted. It's the radiant, radiant damage I'm looking for. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Oh god, let me catch my- wait. Alright, it needs to make a what save? DC 21 con. Uh, let's- oh wow, it has a con. Uh, I'm not used to this. Yeah, uh, Undead X, you have constitution score. It, five. it failed. Nice. So it takes 20 radiant damage, and now it glows. And now it what? It glows. It was glowing uh, before. I'm not, I'm not doing the concentration for that to keep up the holy weapon. Let's see here. So the light goes away immediately. Uh, I'm going to be right back real quick. Yep. Okay. 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 Tatsuya, it is your turn. I still have one more action. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna miss. I doubt it's AC is 10. No, it's not. Okay, now my turn. Tatsuya. Uh, let's see. Yeah, four actions a turn. I'm gonna exit the pocket dimension. Gonna run up to it. Actually, let me put its uh, illumination that it, the slight illumination it has around it. All right. So I learned today. That's good. The the two weapon fighting attack doesn't take my bonus action. It just gets attached to one of my weapon attacks. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. So we'll start off with that. Oh, hey. Does the radiant damage crit? No. Okay. But I am going to roll that 2d8. And Venom that is Dagger by is... far the funniest two numbers you could have rolled. Oh wow, that has a lot of hit points. Uh, let's see here. Oh uh, yeah, I'll just let you keep rolling. No point in scrolling up each time. Okay. Uh... 
All right, three more attacks. Is everybody out of the pocket dimension now? They should be. Okay. What's the 2d8 for? The radiant damage from Holy Weapon. Okay. Alright, what is its immunity? Or what's the strawberry? Rings against. Oh, uh, actually, ignore the 2d8 for the dagger. I don't think that's affected. I think it's only one. I think you only got your main weapon. Yeah. Again, six, nine, twenty. All right, you did significant damage to it. Okay, that will end my turn. Vanina. All right, I am going to spray myself. Uh, well, I want to kind of cover my face or something so I don't breathe it in. But I'm going to spray myself with like a silver dust silvery dust and then I will step over here and spray it on um Jose uh it is protection from good and evil so um if she's frightened like if she gets another save on this being frightened by the dragon undead dragon thing uh she'll have advantage on it thank you Yep. That's it. I, I did two spells, so. Oh, okay. Uh, at the end of her turn, she'll become. Uh, she can get another saving throw. Yep. <laughs> Kazooie. Kazooie. <laughs> Sorry. It, uh, we had a character with a similar name. Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Who you? Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm afraid of this thing. I've also been confronted with the information that there are, in fact, other people like me who are not from this realm and who remember not being from this realm. Um, and they're just real casual about that. And there's a dragon. <laughs> um, and I think that... Without even, like, moving, uh, I think Kozue just blinks into their pocket dimension and just disappears. Okay. And, uh, then I would do a wisdom save, yes? Yes. Cool. With, on it with advantage, I believe. Yay! Ah. Uh, well, that'll pass. I think I did it. Woo! Yay! Yay! Yeah, you're not afraid of this thing. You can just come right back out if you want. Yeah. Um. But the only other thing I can do during my turn would be to. Because, like, that's at the end of my turn. Yeah, that, yeah, actually, yeah, that, that is. Yeah. 
So I can't even come out of my pocket dimension. I'm stuck here.
All right, Akana, it is your turn. I am going to come over here. And I'm going to try to hit it with a Mind Blast. Well, I'll let you know that it does take the damage. Does it look weakened? No. I'm not gonna do that again then. Um, I will mark it off that you did use a Mind Blast. It's freaking 34 energy. If it doesn't look significantly weakened, I'm not doing it again. It takes 34 it, in two actions. It takes two actions. Oh, wait, you're, you're capped on Mind Blast. Oh. <laughs> Did you get your third ability? What's it supposed to be? Is it Energy Drain? It was supposed to be two. Energy drain and uh, energy mount. I only got drain. Okay, well, if that didn't work, I'm just gonna use good old bend it on it. Okay. Try to decide if I should use electricity or water. I'll use water. Does it look hurt now? It looks wet. No, it doesn't. Um, no, no. <laughs> okay. Um. In that case, I'm gonna electrocute it. It's a sweater. Um. Now it looks pissed. But unfortunately, well, the electricity did not add more damage to it. All right. Uh, it's it's, not, it's you need, not that kind of kinky. Yeah, uh, it needs... Then you know what? I'm gonna flip it off. <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. Just gonna raise both my hands as high as I can and flip it off. <laughs> all right. Now that its uh, energy is stored... Like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. Alright, so it's going to breathe fire at you. <laughs> it's gonna breathe. Wait, 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 say that again, say that one more time. It's gonna breathe fire at you, a demonic fire. It's gonna It's gonna breathe fire at me. Oh. <laughs> It's a demonic fire. It's uh, half fire, half dark. That description. That description. Damn, handed me this. <laughs> handed me this like our third session. Don't, don't back up, man. Come on, you gotta step out of this. This is the only time I've been able to use this. Let me have this. this is the only. It's been time long enough that he forgot. You avoid half the damage. <laughs> So basically, half, half fire, half product. 
<laughs> yeah, half fire, half necrotic. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just... <laughs> I never went back and re-updated it because I hadn't done like much roll 20 shit at the time. So like... Oh my god. God DM handed me this LMAO. <laughs> Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. I'm gonna mulligan that. Okay. Are you sticking with that? Um, I have one mulligan left. If I use it now on an 18... When I'm probably not going to get better, I'm probably screwed. Alright, you take 21 necrotic damage. Oof. Can I flip it off again? What's that? Can I flip it off? Yeah, but it's going to, in retaliation, it's going to now attack Tatsuya. I like how you said that. In retaliation, it's going to attack somebody else. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Ah, this thing hits like a tank, but its damage isn't the greatest. But let's find out. Tatsuya! It's going to bite you. That is a 25. Ow. Disadvantage. That is a 21. That misses. Tatsuya. 22. Disadvantage. That is a 20. I, I'll give you I'll I'll give you the higher dice. Alright. That will hit. Alright, and the last one is. A secondary claw, which is a little bit, is a 23. Wow. And the damage is... Uh, the bite missed, but the two claws hit. Claws are 2d6 plus 8. And you're going to need to have that damage. Yep. So, 6, 14... And seven fifty. All right, so twenty nine total. Yes. Have round down to fourteen damage. I buffed up my AC finally. And now, you can, wait. Oh, I didn't notice it had a legendary action. do a single wing attack if this misses or hits we get a uh, half flight speed or I, I don't think i'll roll anything higher than that i missed we get somewhat off the ground and then we land right next to a kane cost gets your turn this is not gonna make it to its turn <laughs>
put up this sheet. Thank you. Give myself another one. The And now needs to make me a uh, DC 21 dexterity save or take 3d6 and become restrained. I need a nat 20. <laughs> Alright, it fails. Alright, takes 11 bludgeoning and now every uh... It all, takes all the 11 get... bludgeoning! Weakness found! <laughs> Most things are weak to bludgeoning! Yeah, it, uh, it, uh, all of its attack rules have disadvantage. All attack rules against it, even ranged, have advantage, and it has, uh, disadvantage on deck saves from now on. Haha! Joke's on you. It already had, uh, disadvantage against Tatsuya. And most of you against attacks. Uh, a creature restrained can make a strength or dex check against the tw that 21 to free itself on its turn. But that takes up its turn. Okay. Next. Tatsuya. Okay. Did you get again? Yeah. It's gonna be laying down a fireball. Oh, you're laying a fireball down too? Yeah, just right, just right here. Uh, about here, yeah. Just let, So just... it needs to make me a, a DC 16 deck save at disadvantage or take 28 fire. Watch it pass. Alright, how much damage? 28 fire. It... It just turns into pure energy and goes right back into the bones. Hmm. Surprisingly wild. That was easy. Cost. So. Spooky Cost scary does look at a. At uh, Benina and uh, curiously, and to see if she has any reaction to the very blatant spell casting. Oh, that was fun, but I'm taking a nap. Uh, um, just over in the tent. Everybody, give me a Constitution flip save. Con is my worst save. Tusk, you're going to sleep right there. <laughs> Not again. I'm in my Literally pocket dimension. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> and even if I wasn't. Tusk just falls down to the ground. I'll go check uh -oh. out. Hey. I'm going to come out of my pocket dimension now. <laughs> Well, since you made the save, you're fine for now. Uh, for until uh, I tell you to make the save again. I'm gonna put cost. You wake. Here we go. Does that wake her up? No, because you're still inhaling. Uh, do I recognize that it has to do with the smoke? What smoke? It's fog. The fog. Give do I identify that it has to do with the fog? Give, Give me the knowledge. Where did I put my DM screen? Knowledge DM screen. Where is my knowledge DM screen? I mean, if one of you can get Cosk up at this point, uh, I have a spell called Control Winds. I can nullify the fog. I have a spell called Stop Breathing, and I'm good at inducing it in others. <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> no, that'll definitely <laughs> save him. <laughs> well, it will save him and kill him. You guys were worried about the fog, right? I told you. I, I party alone. <laughs> give me knowledge. Or give me... What kind of knowledge is it? Would that be like an insight? Investigation? <laughs> give me an alchemy check. Alchemy? Yes. What kind of role is that? <laughs> uh, an intelligence. Great. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. I definitely knew that would happen. <laughs> You're thinking this fog has more to it than it just being a fog. Also, everybody give me a constitution save and throw. Again? Oh, God. It's persistent. Uh, I have a trait, like one of those abilities that you can pick up. Um, I forget what you call them. Mulligan, 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 mulligan. <laughs> Alright, you passed. What's your trait? A feature. Sorry, I have a feature called breathing control. It's a racial feature. Shit. Can I use that to, like, reduce how much of the smoke I'm breathing in? And give myself advantage? Sure. So far, everybody passed so far. Oh. Uh, in that case, um... DC goes up by one now. Oh, no. Uh, how many people can <laughs> I... No. Oh, no. You, you control your breathing, and then you fall face, face on the ground. You, you can show you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You've never been more calm. You pass so, out. <laughs> after I see that, am I am I now suspicious about it? it? Might be in the air. Yes, you're very suspicious about this fog. Um, if that's the case, fog has a high water density. The fog around me, I'm gonna try to turn back into water and hold it on the ground. Okay. It's acid rain. It's like, ah, so oh, shit. Tatsu is going to try to pick up a Nina. How much energy will this take me? Uh, I'll say about 15. All right. Um, Akane immediately looks really, really exhausted. I don't think I can keep this up for long. We may want to get into a pocket dimension. Yeah. Did you leave yours <laughs> open? Because typically I. It's open, it's into... open. I need to go in. Akane is gonna like. Yeah. Akane, I need. Akane, there's a 16 hit. Uh. No. <laughs> oh no! Kosk is there! No. Well, it, it, miss, well it misses you. I think it if hits. I see if I see that Cost is going to get hit, I'll move to inter intercept. Well, you don't see. What's the, what's the attack roll? 16. Is it yes. a dark? It's a, okay. uh, you're not getting any of your uh, decks to this because you're currently down. Is whatever is causing this a dark presence? No. Still miss. Okay. What the fuck was that? It's too dark to see. Is there any blood uh, within the immediate vicinity? Yes. DM. DM. Uh, I, th I, I think DM. you should uh, shove Kosk into the pocket Guys, to let her wake up. Just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, is it really too dark for me to see? Devil sight. No. It's pure light. You don't have light vision. Oh. Uh, I saw that meme. We're blind. All right. What direction is the blood? <laughs> uh, all around you. That's right, we're still here. Fuck. 
Is there blood that does not belong to my party members? Yes. Where? All around you. Ah, fuck! Fuck it, dimension! Tatsu's um, gonna push uh, Anita into a, a tiny pocket she... dimension. How high up does the. Um, we can figure it out when we get in go. there. If I have to hold this for much longer, I will pass out. Okay. Move! Is Moving! There, who, who's going into whose pocket dimension? We're all going Everyone into should be going into mine, but I have five energy left, so if we don't get the fuck moving, I will pass out. Okay. Um, Because, like, we're running on a timer, and I have to continually use energy to keep an effect like this up. So the second I run out of energy, the second we get flooded by fog again, and I'm just going to yeah. pass out on the floor. Yeah. In a near-death state because of the energy. Um, as As I'm entering the pocket dimension... Uh, how high up does the fog appear to go, or is it centralized around this particular spot? It's, uh, it seems to be centralized just at stopping by the bones. By the bones, uh, how high up does it go? It seems just to be at, just out of reach. Like, within ten feet? Within ten feet, yeah. I'm gonna fly up. Okay. You're above the fog. Cool. What do I see? Uh, you see a dagger being thrown at you. Ah, fuck! <laughs> uh, one... I'd like to see them try. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know your AC is high. <laughs> My AC is stupid. Alright, here they come. Well, uh... See here, a ten and a nine miss. Is a twenty-four hit? Maybe. Oh wow. Does it matter? <laughs> yes, it does. Fuck. You should have listened to Tatsuya. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So you get hit with a dagger. Okay. Ow. I need a constitution saving throw. I'll be right back after taking the bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and say that Akana's kept the spell up for too long, and she's now at zero energy and has crumpled, and she's just laying there, unmoving. You're, you're in the pocket dimension at this point. I've done this without you guys. I assumed you were still trying to get people in there because I'm I'm holding a spell, so I can't move people into the pocket dimension, and they're passed we'd, out. We'd be able to carry them in in one round. We're right next to you. Okay, never mind. We're good then. I'm so, not so out. as you're pulling people in, you hear a thud outside, and uh, <laughs> you just see um, Kazoo Kazoe. God damn it! On the ground, goes away. Not it's moving. Back up. Um, is it like paralysis or? You're paralyzed. Fuck. Okay, real quick, time out. Who is where right now? You're all in the pocket dimension except her. Uh, I flew straight up from where I was, so I am paralyzed, but I'm right outside. All right. Tattoo is going to uh, set down Vanina. And he realizes that uh, Kozue got hit and knocked out. Yeah, you hear the thud because the door is still open. Alright, Tattoo goes back out and uh, uses one of his extra actions to grab her. Alright. Pull her in. You're all inside the pocket dimension. I'm closing it. Are you all right, Akane? I need a goddamn nap. I don't think I've ever felt this drained in my life, actually. Combat's can be draining.
So that's who's going to check over uh, the lizard folk and goes away. How long does the paralysis last? Oh my god. The paralysis lasts up to ten minutes. Fuck! This was very expensive stuff. Hmm. What's that? Only if all things lasted ten minutes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Do you think they're targeting anyone specifically? Maybe a certain adventurer who's been fist fighting clowns? Hmm. Am I able to speak while I'm paralyzed? No, you're paralyzed. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, it's I have a quip. It's not paralyzed from the neck down, it's paralyzed from the hair down. Damn it, I have a quip. Can't barely feel a thing. Um, can I... Would you go away? <laughs> Why? Am I distracted? Yes. I wonder why. Can you do what? I'm checking my abilities real quick. Okay, um... Can I use some of those weird cherries you had me, like, pick up with the effects and, like, some of the mushrooms I also got to try and make something that can cure the paralysis with my alchemy- with my alchemy tools, or is that just a no? No. Okay. It w In that case, Akane is going to grab a blanket and lay down. Uh, I can cast Lesser Restoration once I'm up. It specifically calls out that it can uh, uh, end, uh, end a paralyzed condition. I'm going to... You know what? Forget the blanket. Akane cl climbed into her water bar barrel, submerged herself, and then went to sleep. Oh yeah, you can breathe uh, underwater. And my regeneration's faster if I'm in water. Yeah. Um, how long does the uh, magical, magically induced sleep last for? Uh, the same amount of time, enough to get the job Fucking done. Fucking hell, God! We're all counting on you, Tatsuya. Okay. Shake awake through it. That's who's going to try shaking Cusk awake. You shake, you shake, you shake for 10 minutes and he finally wakes up. You did a good job. You shook him awake. <laughs> you shook him so hard, everybody wakes up. And her, and, uh, her par paralysis wears off too. This had to be you. Ow. I am getting rather tired of magical sleep. Mm. <sighs> Somebody mentioned a clown murderer earlier. I ask you, Tatsuya, is that you? It is not. Were you looking for to... that the entire time? Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> I suppose if we're being a bit more... As it was said to me, blunt with the nature of addressing certain things... There is a plan that I had in mind for how to address these particular marauders. Such plan did include a bait. However, I was not among that party. And with so. the presence, sorry, 
So the bait was for the Marauders. Of and course. that was you and Akane, right? No. No. Well, on paper, certainly. But they tend to attack adventuring parties. And given that they have some more impressive weaponry at hand, it would not be unwise to presume <clears throat> they would begin to target more advanced parties and parties with less than ideal quantities so, would be a perfect target. I do have one question. Yes. Is this the actual way the wind is moving? <laughs> well, the fog is moving? We're in the pocket dimension. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, this is out of character. I'm not telling you then. You're in the pocket dimension. <laughs> I'm not saying. No, it's the only way the animation can go. <laughs> Just rotate it, forehead. <laughs> So yeah, I do have a have a plan. Hmm. That is the fact that I can cast control winds and push the fog back in the direction it's coming from, which would also stall out any ranged attacks coming at us. That could work, but at the end of the day, at least within my plans. None of you are supposed to survive. <laughs> That's right. I used you all as bait for my own game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. And you're telling us this because... Well, due to certain developments and... Um, some interesting information that was shared with me before the events transpired. And she's gonna foot she's gonna flip into Japanese. I can't quite in clear conscience follow through on that, can I? Mm-hmm. Not a hodo, not a hodo. Oh. <laughs> There's mm. a sound from the barrel. <laughs> 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 yes, it's, it's called blub blub blub. There's just this barrel full of water, and there's just like a thump from it. <laughs> Is she, okay? Shit. Is she okay in there? No, she's drowning. I think there's a fish in there or something. <laughs> just this, just just the barrel goes back to being a normal barrel full of water. Definitely no people in it. Don't go look. <laughs> Um, all right, so we I could cast a spell that could just so we don't have to breathe the air out there. <laughs> that would probably be more comfortable. Before However, that, are all of you ready for combat? I don't want to go out there without anyone being unprepared. Well, hey, I. I how are you guys going to open the pocket dimension? Ah, she needs a full rest to recover everything. I don't need to open the pocket dimension. Why? I can blink. But you have... you, But you can't blink out of another pocket dimension. Fuck! Because this is, it's like blinking between worlds. You're currently in another world right now. Damn it. But if I were to blink into mine, no. You can't open up your pocket dimension inside another not, pocket dimension. It's not opening if I'm blinking into it. Because opening implies that there's a place in which I open right. it. Blinking oh. is on the same plane. 
Fuck! Guys, just knock over the barrel. She'll wake up. With the with the exception of my pocket dimension, please. Nope. What? You have to open it first, and then you could blink into it. She's not magically asleep. You can wake her up, but she just resubmerges herself after she opens it. Tatsuya goes and opens the barrel. Yeah. Akane is curled up from the bottom of the barrel. Pass yeah. the fuck out. You open the wine barrel. It's a water barrel. It's wine now. <laughs> oh, you're wasted. <laughs> no, no. no, it's water. Tatsuya's gonna take off his gauntlets and start reaching in, fishing for Akane. <laughs> Akane, you feel hands all over you. Yeah. The second the hand comes near her face, she bites it. <laughs> as hard as she can. Bring it. <laughs> Make an attack roll. It's gonna lose a finger. You want me to just roll for my claws? No, you said you were gonna bite. Yeah, I'm biting him, but I don't have a thing for my bite. And the only a thing bite I have is, is a that. D3 plus your strength. Okay. I, I did say you had to roll it for the hit, but oh, it's okay. No, I'll take it. All right. I All probably right. wouldn't hit him anyways. What's half that? damage what kind of roll rounds that down be? to zero. Would you be using your decks or half your damage of one rounds down to one. No. Yes. Oh, wait, yeah, I guess it does. You would regenerate one. it almost immediately. Yeah. Okay, so Tatsuya grabs the inside of Akane's jaw and starts pulling her out. <laughs> <laughs> she clips your nails. She's gonna she's gonna start clawing at you now. I, I can hear Tatsuya. I caught one. <laughs> like she's just straight up clawing at the arm as hard as she can. It's a big one. This is how you noodle. <laughs> Do you want me to make those rolls or are we just Kozue uh. is just gonna tip the barrel over? <laughs> Let her out. The water pours out and you hear hissing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was trying to avoid that. She's going to continue to tip the barrel, barrel over and like shake, <laughs> shake it out. Crawl out of the barrel. <laughs> the fuck you want? Why are we... you sleeping in a barrel of water? We need to get out. <laughs> Why are you judging me, Tatsuya? I'm not judging. I just want to get out. <laughs> Oh, Wait, right. before we get out, we need to make sure we're ready. She's already opened the pocket dimension. She's bending the water back into the barrel and climbing back into it. Fair enough. She, like, slowly submerges, keeping <laughs> eye contact with you while she does. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, uh, no, wait. Vanina, I think... Had a spell. Uh, yeah, she'll so she'll put a bubble on your head. Well, first she'll put some soap on your head, and then she'll stick the stick the um, air compressor underneath it, and just.
Fuck you got doing? a nice bubble on your head. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, and I'm now that the dimension is open, I'm going to proceed to teleport. Uh, hmm. I can go anywhere on this map. <laughs> Within a hundred uh, feet. It's a, it's a thousand feet. You have rank three. <laughs> yeah. Ninja gave me that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back up here and get a good look at what's happening over at the camp. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, can I check my surroundings? See what's what's around me? Yeah, go ahead. Do I sense any blood? You sense no blood. Mm. Thirty feet for blood, right? Or did yeah. you up that too? Uh, I think it is just 30 feet. All right, you sense no blood. And uh, give me a perception check. Fuck. You see no weapons on the ground that were used. No weapons on the ground. That were used uh, against you. None, none of them were... But there is my blood on the ground. And my I mean, blood it, it presumably wasn't... was still on the knife, yes? Yes. I'm gonna follow that fucking trail. <laughs> um, but they would have. It's been a while when you were in the pocket dimension. Yeah, they had minutes. at least 10 minutes. Oh. So nobody, like, dripped anything? No. Uh, yeah, you they see, clean the knife, too? You see some leaves that have uh, what looks like blood smears on it. Presumably, this blood feels familiar, almost like home. Oh. Well, I gotta, I gotta follow it all the way home, don't I? You follow it to... Here. Hmm. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> All right. And give me a uh, knowledge of alchemy since there's something mixed with the blood. Let me guess. It's some kind of paralysis poison. Intelligence. If you wanted to take, uh, Alchemy, you can always add it to your uh, skills, too. It's some kind of uh, paralysis agent. That's all you get, though. Hmm. That tracks. Uh, they've left, like, no traces? Nothing. Damn. I mean, when Akane had dark vision, she couldn't even see them. Well, it could have been invisible. Connie still has dark vision. She's just asleep in a barrel in a pocket dimension that is still open, but I'm assuming no one's watching the entrance of. If you're asleep, the pocket dimension's closed. Okay, well, then she's locked in there. Everyone's out. She's in there. She doesn't know what's going on. She's asleep. You make it sound like your pocket dimension has a dump truck setting. Yeah, you know what? Sure, my pocket dimension's a dump truck. 
But Connie's the trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, not yeah, a dump truck where you just set, um, you just dump everything out of it. So, am I allowed to? Forgive me if I'm overstepping. This is a bit unclear. Am I allowed to try and connect with the vegetation around me um, and try and determine, like... Oh, yeah, you can talk to the vegetation. Yeah. Yeah, Am go I ahead. Allowed... Cool. Where did they go? <laughs> Where did who go? The folks who were just around here. They went into a dimension. And then one fell over the sky, and then a weird man... The other folks. Oh. What other folks? There was a bone dragon. We were scared. <laughs> Our leaves were shaking. Yeah, mine were too. Can, can you tell me, like, okay. The folks that threw a dagger that fell on the ground. Whoop, we lost somebody. Whoop. Ah, oh, he screwed up all the cameras. Oh, no! I can screw up cameras too if you want. Don't do it. <laughs> this is getting kind of late, though. Yeah, we'll finish up with this. Yeah, um, sorry. There is no other guys? people. The oh, there's usually sometimes there's people in black, but we didn't. Those people. We didn't see anybody today. Okay, but you felt them, right? Because they walked through you. No. They didn't walk? No. Oh, they, oh, yeah. Sometimes they just appear out of nowhere. Like, out of the thin air. Okay, but what about thick air? Like fog. Do they appear in that? No. So the fog's not a frequent occurrence here in this marsh? No. Just while they're around. Hmm. Toss is gonna try something. She's gonna true sight herself. Are you willing? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Me? No, Kask is touching herself. Okay. Shut up. Why did you have to make it weird? Anything... She made it weird. Invisible or on on the ethereal plane or anything like that nearby? Not just twenty feet. No. Okay. Well, I thought they would put up some guards or something. Well, it lasts one hour, so... They probably, uh, figured that they couldn't, uh, eliminate you, so they left. Took all their, uh, stuff and left. Hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't see that dagger, so I can't locate object it. I saw the dagger, though, right? I you, remember what it looked like. You felt the dagger. Were there any defining features? <laughs> it was pointy. And there was a paralyzing <laughs> I mean, agent on it. Do you technically have access to locate object? No. Because uh, literally, if you've seen an, an item up close within 30 feet at least once, you can pinpoint that exact object for up to a attack. Up to a thousand feet. Which is a like almost a mile. Um Yeah, I don't have that. I can just check within a thousand feet all around. <laughs> Start looking. Hmm. I did um, make this one harder. That's why the bounty is higher. Yeah. Hmm. 
would we be able to collect a sample of the paralyzing agent? Yes and no. Does anybody know alchemy? Because currently your blood yes. is all mixed with it. <sighs> okay. I need an alchemy roll from you, as you're going to try to get a portion of it, also trying to subtract your blood from it. Am I allowed to help him? You don't have alchemy. Oof. Hmm. But you can try. Wait, alchemist supplies or alchemy itself? No, the alchemist supplies is giving him the bonus. It's a, no, it's a tool. It's a tool proficiency. Alchemy is also a skill. Is it? Yeah. It's one of the um, skills. What's one of the additional ones? I don't see it. Yeah, uh, it's it's part of Anime 5e. Ah. Uh, alchemy skill. Uh, you can determine that it is indeed some kind of uh, paralyzing agent. You could probably uh, find more about it in town. Uh, oh, you you were able to extract the um, compound, slight some of the compound from it. You might be able to find a match in town. Nice. But we should cover that next time when we have everybody back here and... Not having all the cameras all jumbled. Because I'm in part of Kosk's camera. And Kosk is in three of the cameras. Kosk is part of us all. He's inside all of us. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) All right, thank you for joining us. We will be back the following week. Hopefully all the other campaigns can be back, too. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh, yes, I have to fix oh, the right. ending. Ignore the ending. Oh, you didn't change the ending yet. I haven't changed the ending yet. I haven't had all the pictures yet. Oh, no. Uh, thank you for joining us.